This video is brought to you by Tardo, the expert in smart heating and energy management for your home. Our Tardo system has helped us heat our house more efficiently and reduced our gas consumption by around 3000 kilowatt hours. More on Tardo later in the video. Welcome back to the channel, my name's Sham. If you're a regular viewer, you'll know that I've been tinkering with the idea of adding more loft insulation to the 200mm thickness that's already present in our house which was built around the year 2000. And given that we're more than likely to be living in this house for the next 20 years, it seemed like a sensible thing to do. What sealed the decision to add more was using this Hick Micro Pocket 2 thermal camera to identify areas where heat was escaping through the ceiling and up, up and away past our existing loft insulation. You can see these areas here where the rolls of insulation lay next to each other and these wooden rafters acting as a thermal bridge. In this video, I'm going to show you how we went about adding another 170mm to our existing 200mm, taking it up to a total of 370mm of loft insulation thickness. And at the end, I'll show you the thermal images before and after adding this extra loft insulation. We worked out how much insulation we already had by having a look at our Energy Performance Certificate, or EPC, which was done when we bought the house in 2015. If you don't have one of these available, you can simply go up and measure the thickness of your existing loft insulation. We have 200mm of loft insulation already, 100mm laid in between the ceiling joists, and then another 100mm laid at 90 degrees. In 2003, building regulations changed to now recommend a depth of at least 270mm mineral or glass wool in the loft. In Scotland, the minimum thickness recommended is 350mm. I did have a specialist insulation contractor supplying and installing loft insulation here in the northeast come out to survey for the job and they quoted just over £700 to supply and install a top-up layer. They suggested it would take around two hours to do. In our previous property, we had some loft insulation installed for free as part of a government grant, which was great. However, after we had this work done, we noticed a lot of condensation build up on our windows and the walls nearby. I suspect this loft insulation may have been incorrectly installed, blocking our roof ventilation. Keen to avoid a similar issue, especially given this time we were going to be paying for it ourselves, we wanted to go down the DIY route. We calculated the amount we needed by measuring the internal floor space and then worked out the total area minus where our unvented hot water tank sits. The most cost effective method for us was to add another 170mm thickness of loft insulation and we ordered this canal for insulation online. We needed to cover 67.11m squared and to be sure we had enough we added on an extra 10%. Each roll covers 6.47m squared. So 73.81m squared which is including the 10% added on divided by 6.47m squared gives us 114 rolls. Again, we rounded up to 12 rolls. This cost us around £300 delivered, although loft insulation prices may have changed depending on when you're watching this video. This is a great time to tell you about something we did a few years ago and wish we'd done much earlier. And that was to install a smart thermostat with smart TRVs from Tardo, who are the sponsors of today's video. We used to have a dumb heating system where if we were cold, we'd essentially have to turn on the whole house which is hugely inefficient. Likewise, if we went out and forgot to turn off the programmer, the heating would come on and there was nothing that we could do about it. Tardo solved those issues. The clean, modern Tardo devices were easy to install, following the walkthrough guide specific for our existing boiler and programmer. Once installed, we could easily set the smart schedule for each room to fit with our family's routines and preferences. And we've learned a lot about our house and each room from the app data, like how cold our living room gets in the winter, and we've made more changes as a result. Since installing our Tardo devices, we've reduced our annual gas consumption by around 3000 kilowatt hours, and I'd recommend checking out Tardo's products by the links in the video description box below. And if you're not satisfied, they even have a money back guarantee. Thanks again to Tardo for sponsoring this video and to all of you for supporting the channel. For the install, we use the following items. At least three coral boards, a measuring tape, a saw, a retractable knife, protective overalls, a dust mask, a pair of safety glasses, a head torch, gloves, and of course, some loft insulation. I've dropped the links to all the items you'll need to complete this job in the video description box below. And it's also sensible to enlist the help of a happy helper if available. As I mentioned earlier, we already had 100mm loft insulation laid in between the ceiling joists and then another 100mm laid at 90 degrees. We plan to lay this additional 170mm at 90 degrees to the existing top layer, further reducing some of the areas of heat loss through gaps. 
To safely move around the loft space, it's important that you use a crawl board which is long enough to span and be supported by at least three joists. Ensure any cables, in particular those supplying high load electrical items such as an electric shower, are laid over the top of the insulation for their full length. Make sure any heat producing fixtures, for example downlights, are covered by a non-combustible cover such as these to prevent overheating and creating fire risk. Begin at the eaves and work back towards the middle of the loft space and hatch. The length between our roof trusses is approximately 57 centimetres, or half the width of this canal insulation. While still in its packaging, use a saw to cut the loft insulation to the desired length. Unwrap the insulation and position its edge at the eave edge. Given this is a top up layer, I'm positioning this approximately 50 millimetres away from the eaves to allow adequate ventilation from the roof soffit. Unroll the insulation towards the middle of the loft, gently agitating the insulation to expand to its full thickness. Repeat on the other side of the loft and make sure that the two ends of the loft insulation are buttered together with no gaps until the whole loft space is covered. A final step is to insulate your loft hatch too, which as you can see we've done previously. Now using the Hick Micro Pocket 2 thermal camera, we can check out the before and after thermal images following adding the extra loft insulation. And if you're getting some value from this video, please hit the like button and subscribe for free. It really helps the channel out, so thank you. And if you still haven't liked and subscribed, do it for Oscar who is just 12 days old at the time of making this video. In my previous video we saw areas of heat escaping from the house into the roof space through gaps in the insulation. Now that these gaps have been covered with the extra 170mm of insulation, these areas of heat loss are significantly reduced, as can be seen here in these thermal images. The Pocket 2 previously identified other cold surface areas in the main ceiling area itself. This linear blue and colder area seen here represents a joist creating a thermal bridge where heat is allowed to escape through the joist creating a bridge between the warm ceiling and cold loft space. Now that this area has been insulated, you can again see this area of heat loss is significantly reduced. Certainly over the coming years this reduction in heat loss will help reduce our heating bills. And it was pretty easy to do, taking around 2-3 to three hours in our detached house, and cost less than half the price of getting it done for us. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to the channel for free to keep up with new content I'll be uploading. It'd be really interesting to know how much loft insulation you already have at home, how old your house is, and whether you're considering adding more in the comment section below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Thanks so much for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, I think you'll enjoy this video too, and I'll see you there.